Baba Ji Ji. So how we can use this? Let's come to that. What should we do? What should we do right now? Especially, I'm going to start with people. As we were discussing about the Pitrapaksh, we were discussing about uh, the the Sharad going on. It is very important. Take this opportunity to at least serve planets or the nakshatras associated with the Pitris, which are those Magha. So the Benian tree we can take. Uh, what is the another tree uh, associated? Who is the lord of the ancestors? Pitris. That is Bharmi. So very important. Take this time. Take this opportunity to at least serve a glass of water uh, for those plants and trees associated with especially these two nakshatras for the next 13-14 days. Biggest remedy I can give. Or what we can do is, especially if, suppose if we are having or if one is having moon in the Dushtana houses or moon is your Atma Karka or moon as your Amatya Karka or you are having a lot of hard time. Simple remedy you can do is start doing the worshipping or start doing serving your moon in that particular uh, nakshatra. That's the best you can do. And look at the results because I give these remedies to the nearby people and I have seen tremendous results from the people who do it with the full bhav, with the full feeling. They email me back, they message me back and they say I, their life is totally changed. Their devotion is totally changed. And they feel transformed just by doing these sim simple remedies. So imagine doing the same thing for your son or also what you can or what one can do is uh, having planet in uh, nakshatras uh, uh, behind uh, your son. What are the nakshatras you have for your son in your natal chart? You can do the same thing for that. Or what are the Mahadashas you are running? Or if the Mahadasha is giving you a very hard time, or the Antardasha is giving you a very hard time, you can take it as a remedy and serve the certain nakshatras or that particular nakshatras. Because just like uh, Babaji says, you are perfect, but there is something wrong with the chart. So let's treat that particular chart with this particular remedy which we can do. And uh, I remember uh, Dr. Pai always says, also look where the karma or the dharma planet is. Saturn, wherever he is transiting that particular nakshatra, you can also serve that as well. Or wherever your natal Saturn is, in which nakshatra it is, you can follow that as well. Or especially if you are running through a, again Mahadasha of Saturn, and it is, or Sadesati of Saturn, or a Dhiya of Saturn, or a Kantak, or you have a Kantak Saturn. You can do the same service to the nakshatra behind that particular planet. How simple is that? But how many of us really do that? That's what I really want. Even if five people watches this or 5,000 people watches this, even if five people going to do the same remedy or they're going to, not as a remedy we can say, or take this uh, or uh, take this thing on a remedial basis or take the initiative to take it further in their research also, how much benefit uh, we can get from the mother nature. And I think, let me see, uh, Babaji, I am, uh, do I miss any nakshatra here? No, I think I have covered all the nakshatras here. Yes. So what I was saying was, just like we are in a Pitra Paksh, do serve the uh, uh, plant associated with Magha right now, which is Beni and Barkat. We can do that. Or the Bharni, the Amla. Because who's the Lord of Ancestors? It's Lord Yama himself. 
so that, that is one of the remedies what i am recommending in my family or whatever clients i have so for this next 10 14 15 days i am recommending them so through you i can say the same thing to your viewers or everyone out there they can follow the same thing because sab kuch srishti mein aur sab kuch mother nature mein hi hai every oshadhi is there everything is there we just have to connect with her that's what i keep telling people and these are the little small ways to connect with her protect her so before cutting a tree or before disrespecting a mother nature think 10 times what we are doing so this is my small shraddhanjali or uh, i dedicated to the amazon fire which happened big time again we all know what happened in the past and how look at the timing uh, baba ji ji i wanted to do, do this long time back but it is happening when rahu is transiting in aradhra aradhra we all know it is known for forest wilderness wild forest area trees so and those who think rahu in aradhra gonna hit them ba uh, badly look how beautifully it is uh, giving us all these remedies coming out through this presentation at a given time at a distant time why it not came last year all talking of trees yes which is again associated with aradhra and i wanted to do this presentation a year back it never happened before i never had any platform and while i was thinking in my mind just like i mentioned earlier i was thinking that i wanted to do this on a bigger platform so that more people can connect with this i don't know how many people can connect what we have discussed in the last couple of hours because i know we cannot satisfy each and every subscriber uh, and uh, we try to do our best in every presentation but uh, how i tried to connect with the mother nature and you invited me on your channel on the same moment when i was thinking about that see how the kaina the mother nature listens to you but the bhav is very important that's what i keep telling everyone so they uh, i i remember there is the three principles what i have learned from my guru uh, who is a big legend in a punjabi industry he says nazar khabar aur sabar is very important these are the three basic principles nazar like your in english what we can say your observation khabar uh what's happening around you sabar the patience satan and you can apply these three principles in your relationship in your business uh, dealings these are the three basic in, uh, principles which are most important in order to have a success in life nazar khabar and sabar and most of us lack either the first one or if we have the first one we lack the second one if we have the second one then we lack the patience and patience everyone is lacking these days the tolerance and who's the lord of tolerance again we have spoken about him bani so we need little bit of each and every nakshatra regardless now some uh, subscribers going to say or going to ask in the comment section that we don't have this certain nakshatras can we still do the service to them absolutely you can if you are having the ailment or disease related to certain nakshatras regardless if you have it or not you can do it you can cure yourself you can cure your soul just like i have mentioned in the ashwatha i am the ashwatha lord krishna says if you are looking forward to the higher realm if you are looking forward to the nourishment of the spiritual energy which is the tree or which is the nakshatra you have to follow the pushya the people tree so i can uh, go on and on and on baba ji ji but i think this also one last thing i wanted to share that uh, sometimes people say you know like we made that uh, video on rem uh, nakshatras last time if you remember activate right. that uh, activate yes not activation yeah. so so there are some people who told me that oh you both gave a very nice presentation but the only thing which you did not tell was which nakshatras to activate okay. okay okay so then i asked them a question well 
which for whichever you want to activate yeah yes that's what you know that's what just i have mentioned not tell you which nakshatra to activate you have to decide which area of life i want to improve yeah. and then that part yeah. you have to do the necessary remedies yes yes and now yes. many times people say as you said now many times people also say oh actually you know like uh, i uh, suppose i tell them you know oh, you can do this spiritual practice they will say but is my dasha indicating that <laughs> right i so get that all the time you know question because according to astrology if the dasha is not indicating something we can't do that right so that's a very it sounds it sounds funny and stupid but it's a very legitimate question but at the same time it is a baseless question i will tell you why even though it looks very logical but it is baseless because the free will is there yeah today you want that i go and do this remedy you can do it you don't have to wait for a dasha right if the dasha is indicating this then what will happen somebody will call you and tell about people tree exactly because that is what is destined that which will yes. happen to you either you want you don't want you like it or you don't no yeah. but if tomorrow you say oh i will i want to go to a people tree yeah. because you always have the free will yeah that's why people ask me that oh uh, what about charts of you know organizations or uh, you know things which don't have a soul all right right those those things don't work because yeah. when you are talking of astrology the basis of astrology is karma right karma. how can a dead living body uh, you know you make a chart for a organization okay organization was signed at this time so this is the horoscope this will happen and it does not have soul it does the organization is not doing karma the people are doing karma there the organization can't do anything it's just a paper Yes. All right. So the thing is, we we have to use our free will properly. We have to see which nakshatras we want to activate. Yeah. And when we are doing remedies, we should not be. Ah, uh, this becomes, I would say, too much business minded. I would say, okay, yeah. that oh, I have my tenth lord in that nakshatra. I will only activate that. Huh? Because yeah. why? Because that will give you name fame, right? Right. But well, the problem with this idea is, you think that only the tenth lord, only name fame will make you happy. Right. Even it's very funny. You will see. Now I am making this Astak Varga videos. Okay. Right. So uh, one one person mailed me recently. He said, I have maximum points in these two houses, the tenth and the eleventh, and they are way abnormal. Abnormal okay. means like other houses are like starving. You know. the hardly any points and these two houses are like it's like bharan you know that elephant is sitting there two two elephants right and then he told me that he has he had read somewhere that you know more points the better it is but he asked me a question sir why am i so unhappy in life right he said because you are all the time in the office that's the problem you don't go home there's no family second house low points family no marriage no children nothing you are just pumping energy into money 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 and money that is why you are miserable and if you stay like this you you will be miserable for the rest of your lives wow okay so the thing is we we have to we have to understand that we have the free will we can like tomorrow we can go and do this uh, remedy you know people or whatever you don't have to ask which nakshatra uh, yes. where where uh, my moon is you know where my sun is now wherever you have your sun moon and ascendant ascendant lord those remedies you do properly you do specifically you do extensively yes acha se ekdam very properly you do very properly means follow the uh, procedure 